What is Windows To Go? No, it's not a fast food chain. Windows To Go is a feature for enterprise users that allows you to run the Windows operating system on an external drive itself, plug that into a PC, use Windows, then plug that same drive into another PC, boot from that drive, and use the exact same Windows dataset. According to Microsoft, this feature is only available for enterprise users, though by using a third-party application, you can replicate the same functionality. Now, apart from that use case I just explained, Windows To Go has another use case. If you want to use a PC with a dead internal drive, such as my Surface Pro 3. You see, this is, this is the computer. Um, <laughs> this trackpad, this keyboard, memories. <laughs> So without further ado, here's how to set up and use Windows to go. All right, first we have to go over the requirements. First, you need a hard drive. Like, y you know what I'm talking about, a standard hard drive. If your hard drive doesn't connect via USB, make sure your computer has a SATA port. If your computer doesn't have a SATA port, you will need to buy an adapter. You will also need another computer running Windows 7 or later if the computer that you want to use Windows to go on isn't working. Okay, let's go. First, plug your hard drive into your computer and make sure it shows up in the file explorer. Yay, that's it! Then if you have access to the Microsoft Store, get an app called Rufus by Accio Consulting. Or, if you don't have access to the Microsoft Store or just don't want to use it, you can also get it from the website, rufus.ie. Then open up Rufus. It'll appear here. Okay, now most likely your drive isn't going to show up. All you have to do is click Show Advanced Drive Properties, and then list USB hard drive. And boom. Now you're gonna download your ISO from whatever website you wish. Okay, select download. Okay. Product language. Confirm. Cool, and it starts downloading. Once your ISO is finished downloading, you can hit select, select your ISO. Okay, image option, Windows to go, GPT, UEFI. Okay, seems to be good. Let's start. And we'll select Pro. Ooh, yeah, okay. And now we just wait for quite some time until this green bar is finished. All right, it's complete. Now you can safely unplug your drive. Okay, cool. Now, providing that you're using a different PC, make sure you plug that drive into the new one. Now, I really don't know what the boot instructions of your computer is, but I mean, try searching it up online. And the spinning dots should show up any moment. Ah, ah, there it is. Okay, just a moment, apparently. Oh uh, my god, Bean Bush Elbin! <laughs> Big Yosh! Now it's just as simple as going through the entire setup process. And now we get to this bit. This might take a few minutes. And we're done. Yay, we have access to the Beanbo. Then just wait for every one of those 7 million drivers to download. And you're all good. Enjoy using your new Windows PC with Windows to go. Now here's a warning. Don't unplug your hard drive while Windows is still running. First, click on the Start menu. Then click on the Power button and click Shut Down. But, if you do accidentally unplug your drive, then Windows will stop working. It'll just show this screen. And then, if you do decide to plug it in again, then Windows will start working again. But it will say, keep the USB drive plugged in. Only remove it after your PC has shut down completely. Otherwise, your Windows to go workspace might crash and you could lose data. So I hope that helped. 
Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and also comment down below what you thought, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!